RF Cool Tools, real time design of a low pass filter and optimization of that filter. We launched the program from the website. The first component will be added. We agree with the values of the x-axis. We'll terminate the impedance with 50 ohms. Add the component where it turns green. Add additional components. And let's start displaying the waveform. Shape the waveform a bit. When you get to the end of the slider value, the plus sign will give you another factor of 10 in range. We'll adjust the transmission zero. And at this point, we can actually start using what the, the wave pulling tool. To use the wave pulling tool, what we'll want to do is add a marker here and here. I added these two markers because these are going to be values we want to keep and we can keep them by putting the anchor on them. It'll turn blue. The anchor tells the wave pulling feature that we want to try and keep these values as close to possible as possible to what they were. And then we can go ahead and pull the wave form by hitting the hand button. And when you actually do this, you'll see a hand uh, in this demonstration. It shows up as an arrow. But go ahead and grab the marker of interest and start pulling it. And it will make the adjustments for you within the laws of physics of the component choices you, cho you chose. So the component values have changed. The markers are trying that were anchored values are trying to be upheld but are given way to the desire to increase this value and we can go back and try another round by anchoring this removing the anchor of these two um, actually we can add, add an anchor here and try to adjust this one with the wave pull feature And that's a low pass filter being designed with the wave pull feature. Once you're done, your component values are here that represent this waveform. And that concludes how to design a low pass filter using real time design from RF Cool Tools. Thank you.